Clients who settle their cases sometimes regret that decision. Ziegelheim v. Apollo illustrates how that regret can lead to legal malpractice litigation. Attorney Stephen Apollo represented Miriam Ziegelheim in her divorce. Ziegelheim's husband had great earning potential, and the couple became accustomed to a high standard of living during their marriage. Ziegelheim had low earning capacity, depended solely on her husband, and had relatively poor health. Ultimately, the parties reached an oral agreement in which Ziegelheim settled for 14% of the marital estate, based on Apollo's advice that she'd probably only win 10-20% to at trial. Ziegelheim testified in family court that she thought the settlement was fair and agreed to it voluntarily. However, Apollo didn't memorialize the settlement in writing until nine months later, and he finalized terms that differed from the party's oral agreement. In addition, Ziegelheim discovered that her husband hid assets, making the marital estate appear less valuable than it actually was. She then asked the family court to set aside the settlement and reopen the divorce decree. The family court refused, finding that the agreement was fair and equitable. Ziegelheim then sued Apollo for malpractice. She alleged that he gave her incompetent settlement advice. To support this claim, Ziegelheim obtained an expert opinion stating that women in her circumstances often recover at least half of the marital estate at trial. Ziegelheim also claimed Apollo failed to properly investigate her husband's assets, unreasonably delayed the settlement, and erroneously documented the agreed-upon settlement terms. The trial court granted summary judgment for Apollo because Ziegelheim voluntarily agreed to the settlement and because the family court found the settlement fair and equitable. The appellate division partially reversed as to Ziegelheim's negligent advice claim, but affirmed summary judgment against all her other claims. Both parties then appealed to the New Jersey Supreme Court.